talk about it. So it is a open surgery. It's an extra arterial procedure, and this was actually performed before the uh, advent of ACL surgeries. So this was performed as a solo procedure to restore the stability of the knee, the anterior translation of the knee. When arthroscopy was not discovered at that time, this lateral extra arterial stenosis procedure or linear procedure was discovered, and this was actually giving support or restraint to the anterior tibial translation. So it's a very uh, historical or old procedure. So there was an original limas procedure and then it was modified into many uh, modifications later on. So nowadays what we do is sort of a modified limas procedure. The concept of this procedure is basically it's a lateral extra articular stenosis. So what we do is this is the tension fascia later. And we use a strip of the tensor fascia letter because the tensor fascia letter actually attaches on the lateral femoral epicondyle, and we use a strip of the lateral uh, uh, the tensor fascia letter and attach it to the lateral uh, to the tibia. So, what is a sequence fracture? Sir, lateral portion of the lateral. Of the the so what is it? So nowadays it is sought out that there is a ligament which is an anterolateral ligament, ALL ligament. An anterolateral ligament is the ligament which is important for the stability, anterolateral stability of the knee. And the avulsion of ALL, the avulsion of the anterior lateral ligament is called as a Seagull's fracture. So, this is technically a newly discovered ligament, mm -hmm. but by philosophy, the procedure can be addressed by what is called as a Lemaire's procedure. Okay. So, what we do here is we want to restore the anterolateral stability of the injury. Basically, it is the it is as simple as we want to restore the anterolateral stability of the injury, and that is usually restored by. Uh, so, if you see this PFL, it is actually here. It goes up to here, and beneath that, if you see, is the area. So the ALL arises from the distal femur and goes like this onto the tibia, like this. And a version of this fragment is the Seagull's fracture. Okay. Now what we do here in a limax or a modified limax procedure is we take a strip of this PFL. So this is a broad PFL is a broad strip. So we take a one centimeter broad strip like this and harvest it from the up. Okay, and then we can do it two ways. We need to identify when we do this harvest. Then, if you if you look at the sideways, so this is the LCM. Okay, so when we we harvest one centimeter strip of the, so when we harvest a centimeter strip of the TFL. Like this, we will be able to locate the LCL ligament. This is the lateral collateral ligament or the LCL ligament. So we will be able to locate the strip of the ACL, uh, LCL. And you can do two ways. You can then you identify it. You pass your artery beneath it, and then you can pass this PFL strip under the LCL and fix it up at this location. Or there is one more modification. You can pass it underneath it and tie on itself. You can pass the TFL underneath the LCL and tie it on itself. That is one modification. And the other modification is you pass it beneath the LCL and fix it up at this level. And you can use your this fixation is little bit tricky. So you can use a interference screw, you can use a staple, or you can use an anchor. My personal preference for these kind of cases is a anchor fixation. Why? Why is an anchor preferable fixation as compared to an interference screw in these cases? 
because there will be a tunnel of ACL also in this area. This case is usually rarely done as a standalone procedure. It will be a along with the ACL, and you will have a tunnel of the ACL somewhere around here. So you may have convergence of the tunnel if you want to drill the tunnel, push it up into the tunnel, fix it, want to fix it up with the interface screw. Then there is a chance of convergence of tunnel, and that is a unneeded complication. So it is safer to use an anchor here. And tie it over the anchor, so that becomes a more safer approach. Without any, uh, you don't, uh, you don't have any compromise on your fixation of the AC. So this is how I usually perform my modified device procedure with a TFL with use of anchor just underneath the LNC. Okay. Now this indication wise, I don't do it in every case of AC, but those patients who have a very significant pivot. We recommend this procedure, and this is a very good procedure if you want to do a revision procedure. So, if you want to do a revision procedure, it is a very good procedure. So, revision ACL reconstructions, this is very good procedure. Any questions? It is just below the epicondyle. Usually, just below. Proximal and posterior. 